Hello everyone, welcome back to the .NET office. In this video, we are going to discuss about the standalone component in Angular 15. When, like in the previous video, where we have discussed about the Angular 15 new features, we have seen there are a couple of the new feature which was introduced in the Angular 15. One of them is the standalone component in Angular 15. So that's what we are going to discuss in this video. Now we know Angular is basically a most popular front-end framework which is used to make a reliable web application. And now with the Angular 15, it introduced a feature called standalone component. Now we have seen like this particular feature was introduced in the Angular 14 as well, but it was in preview mode and it was not stable also. But now with the Angular 15, standalone component are the stable. Now the thing is, what is the standalone component? So, like in the previous version of this Angular, we used to create the component and whenever we used to create the component, we have to give the reference of that component in the app.module.ts file. So, if I will go here, like first of all, we used to create the component with the command called ng, g, c and then component name. And with that, what we have to do, we have to give the reference of every component in the app.module.ts file or we can say to the respective module. And like here you can see, we have the couple of the module called home, student, teacher, every module reference, it come under the declaration array and here we have given. But with the standalone component, there is no dependency with the app.module.ts file or the ng module, like there is no need of the ng module. And even when we used to give the reference with this, we have to always remember the extra layer to create the component. Now, as a beginner, like I'm the beginner, I'm going to learn the Angular application. Now, to as a beginner, like I, whenever I go, going to create any new component, with the command, if I go to uh, create any component, it automatically add the component reference in the app.module.ts file. But still, we have to remember, uh, like there is should be a, always a component reference in the app.module.ts file. But Angular is growing rapidly. And uh, like because of the demand of this Angular, now Angular has come with the standalone component. Now to create the standalone component, what we have to do, there is no need to give the reference of that component in the app.module.ts app file. So let's understand it with an example. So here what I'm going to see, like I'm going to do, or basically I'm going to create a component. So create a component in the, uh, like as an standalone, what we have to do, we have to give the command called, for an example, ng, g, c, and then component name. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to give the student standalone. So this component I'm going to give. So this is the normal, like we used to create the uh, component previously, just like that. But here we have to add the standalone keyword. So with this, when you will hit enter, what it will do, it will create the four uh, files, HTML, CSS, and uh, TS file, and the testing file. So it will create the four file, but you will see the difference between them. So first of all, like it will not add the reference here. You, we can see like it is added student standalone component, but it not given the reference here. And you can see it is not given the re reference in the declaration mode. And if you will go in the respective now I'll close this one and let's compare between the student TS file and student standalone TS file. So in the previous component, we used to have these uh, like fields, selector, template URL, and style URL. And like this reference we have given in the app.module.ts. But with the standalone component, here you will see these two parameter to the component and array. What is that? One is the standalone. So basically like it indicate, uh, it basically indicate like this is a standalone component and no need to give the reference, it should be true. Another is basically a import array and what is that? Inside this one, we can give any kind of a uh, like a parameter we want to pass it. So basically what is the use of this one? So now the use of this is basically like to perform some basic operation of uh, I would say you know, like basic operation just like the star ng8, star ng4 or any pipe if we want to use. 
so to perform such kind of the things we use this import common module so basically this common module is responsible to perform some basic operation with respect to the component now apart from this one if i want to uh, like uh, like i want to use uh, any other directive or any like for an example uh, i want to create the custom pipe and that custom pipe i want to use for this particular component so we can give the comma and based on that we can uh, give that pipe name so that pipe will work for this component only and apart from that if we want to create the angular material and that angular material we want to assign to the uh, particular component so basically standalone component we can give the comma and then that angular material here module we can give here otherwise before what we used to do that module like if i will take an example of the angular material that module reference we have to give in the app.module.ts file and it is applicable to all of the component so this is the basically the meaning of the standalone it's basically responsible for that particular component so that is the use of this one now apart uh, from that like basically now standalone can work in sync with the http cloud client router and the angular material as i told uh, before like standalone in the sense like it will work for the respective component only now the other thing like mm, um, like even these standalone component allow us to make a bootstrap application and means when we create an application so like for an example when we this created this angular application if i will go in main.ts file here we have the bootstrap module and it is referencing to the app module and when we run this application what it do it go to this app module first and from here it see all the component and everything and from here it uh, like take all the values of basically the main feature of related to the component and the related to the application but now with the angular 15 we can bootstrap the application also and what we can do basically like from here we can bootstrap our application H how we can do so in the main.ts file what we can do we can comment it out like this now here if i will bootstrap application so bootstrap application here you can give like what it should be your application name now for an example here if i will give a student standalone component if i will give this one a student standalone component so now what uh, we can do so as point of this time let's serve this and one more changes we have to do and what is that like index dot html here currently it is referring to the app root and here we have to comment this one and here what we have to do we have to use the app and there basically this we have to use so if i will copy and i if i will put it here so now the our like first application like first page it, this application is going to refer is the app student uh, like student standalone page basically and it is basically like what we are doing we are uh, doing bootstrap application so if you will go on the browser here if i will see here if i will run this application so what we can see okay let's here if i will uh, go uh, on the like basically the base url we can see student stand alone works so this is the way what we can do even we, we can uh, what we can do we can make our application as a bootstrap application also now uh, another way like for an example to understand purpose here what i'm going to do uh, here let it be like this here i'm going to do this one and in this uh, index.html let's make it as a app uh, root only now the next thing if you want to uh, create the angular material like for an example you want to use the angular material in your application so to create the angular material in your application first what we have to do we have to uh, like what i say like we have to install the angular material and what we do do that ng add at the rate angular and what we have to do we have to give the command called material so let's uh, give this command 
and after add, um, like giving so what is the command to add the angular material is basically ng add at the rate angular material so when you will hit enter it will ask a couple of the things uh, um, like for an example like uh, which kind of the uh, color style basically you are looking and all these things so here we can see like package is already installed in my case but i didn't select this one so i'm going to select the indigo pink so with that now what it is as asking set up global angular uh, application typography style so i'm going to give this as in yes so when i will give uh, like for an example as in yes now it is asking uh, include the angular animation module let's give the yes so what it is going to do it is going to update the package like basically the package.json file so this is the root file where it is going to update all these things and here if you will come in the index.html it is added all the related uh, the information which is needed it is updated now the next thing let me uh, ng sub this one and in stand alone what i'm going to do in this html so here in this html what i'm going to do so let's go in the html side i'm going to use the material and that is the uh, like basically what i'm going to do i'm going to use the uh, list so for this one what I, we have to do first we have to use the module now previously when we used to uh, add the any material we have to update that module in the app.module.ts file but now since we have make it as a standalone we can directly add here so what is that mat list and then what what we can do we can uh, like that is the basically module so we have to add this one and that is basically available in the angular material and uh, mat list so that we have to add it from here so let's put the import and it will come from so it will come basically angular material and uh, like from where it will come it will come from the like from the list so from here it will come so now let's add it as a mat list and it will come from the module and next let's copy this one and put it here so what it uh, like we have done we have used this mat list module here now the next thing what we have to do like since we have to make the loop over this one so what i'm going to do i'm going to add a uh, one list here inside this one so for that what i will do item and this will be the array type so uh, like I, i'm just going to take it's a, any um, like any type I'm, I'm going to assign the value so yeah uh, you you can use like for an example i'm going to say value one comma value two so these two value I'm adding to this one. So for an example, I have added these two value to this. Now the next thing what I'm going to do, I'm going to add this material in our HTML side. So to add this one, what we have to do, we have to use the mat and list. So this is the material list and then mat list item and inside this mat list item we are going to add a star ng4 so this star ng4 basically coming from the common module and these materials angular material are coming from the mat list module so we can see like currently we didn't give any reference in the app.module.ts file or we can say like basically like uh, there is no dependency of other so now here let's put it as in items copy it and just uh, we are going to make the loop now here what i'm going to do i'm going to take the s2 and inside this one we what we are going to do we are going to add the mat line and here we will add the item and so th basically we have added this one now let's save this one so i have saved this data now next thing we have to print this one so to print this one we have to call it now currently like since we we have uh, removed the reference uh, of this from the main.ts file and even we don't have any reference in the app module dot 
ps file so basically like to give the reference now what this time i'm going to do here in the main.ts file instead of this one app module like we are no there is no dependency of the app module we are in uh, like entirely uh, like removing it so now and here we will give the reference of now so that is the bootstrap application and here i will give the reference of the uh, like app component so uh, like what is the app component is basically app root so now let's copy it and put it here so basically we have to use the so we have to use not app root app component that we use here so app component we have uh, used here now let's save this and go on the browser so if i will go on the browser currently let's go here and if i will go on the browser currently we don't have anything and uh, because in the app component and the html if you will go in the app component or html we have uh, given this one there, but there is no dependency like basically we have given all these route but there is no dependency on the route app route as of now so what i'm going to do i'm let's uh, i'm going to comment this one and here let's give like uh, currently i am using app route app component bootstrap oh. so now let's save this and go in the browser so if i will go in the browser let's save this so see why this data is not loading so if i will see on the here and what it is saying like app component is currently not marked as a stand alone like uh, we are calling it is an stand alone so we we have to put it here otherwise we have to give the reference in the app dot model dot ts file so for this one here what we have to do to make it as an stand alone here so let's go on the ts file and what we have to do we have to make it as an stand alone so stand alone let's make it as in true and now if you will save this and go on the browser so currently like it is saying component is extended on can't be declared in the ng module as well so now from here what we have to do we have to comment it out so let's comment this also particular now let's save this and we have to comment this bootstrap as well now let's save this and go on the browser so if i will go on the browser we can see like we have created this app.component.ts file also also as an stand alone component now the next thing i want to call like from here i want to call my another stand alone component so to call that another stand alone component what we have to do here in the ts file here we have to use the import and from here what we have to do we have to call our this component and that component is basically student standalone component so student standalone component we have to call this so when you will save this like so we are currently calling the student uh, student standalone component so now here what we have to do so if you will uh, currently if i will go on the browser currently we will see uh, like it is not calling this one so now go here and go to the html page and here like what we have to do student so let's uh, copy this and put it here and now let's save this and go on the browser so we can see our two value value one and value two so this is the way like we can call our one standalone component uh, like from one standalone component to the another student alone component also so this is all about the standalone so basically what is the standalone if you want uh, don't want any dependency over another app.model.ts file or any model.ts file in that case what we have to do in the component side we have to use the standalone as in true and if you want the basic feature of that particular component then we have to use the common module and apart from that if you are looking to put any directive or pipe or anything then we have to give the reference just like this like comma and materialist module so this is all about the basically stand alone components in angular 15 so that's it for this video if you have any question and doubt please comment thank you